Oh, there just want to make a quick review of the King's generator, uh, the 2 kVA generator. First of all, when you receive the product, it took me a while to get it. it. Took me roughly about three to four months. They were very slow on sending it to me. Uh, they promised delivery in late November when I bought it in August, and it uh, didn't come to December. But either way, look, it's here. There it is. First things first. You can receive the product. You're going to have to read the book, read it very thoroughly, make sure you do everything correctly. Take these screws off here. Under here is the oil reservoir. That's where you put your oil in. They don't come with oil. You have to go buy your own oil. If I remember correctly, it was an SAE 30 or a 10W40 or something like that. Um, I, I just had some spare stuff in my lawnmower. Once again, the instructions tell you how much to uh, fill in there. <clears throat> Top it up with some uh, normal unleaded. I don't think they, I didn't, I don't think they can put premium unleaded in here. I'm pretty sure it says all in here anyway, but just normal unleaded fuel. Okay. To start the generator, obviously, like I said, read the instruction manual very thoroughly if you purchase this product. You, you never buy a piece of machine and not read the instruction manual. You need to do the things right. Sometimes every brand's a bit quirky, so just ensure you always do that. Now, to get this thing started, I just started a few minutes ago, so I hope she just turn over anyway. But So I don't need to put the choke on. I already just started a few minutes ago. Turn it to run. Turn the switch on. Turn the uh, engine switch on. Turn the eco on as well. And I'll just start the unit. Very easy to start. started nice and easy so I forgot to mention as well I did open up the uh, petrol air as well so that's an eco mode that's the quietest the unit will be now when under full load let's turn this this way because the exhaust when under full load this if I turn eco mode off this is generally how the how loud it will be when it's under full load So it's uh, a little bit loud, but oh well. Turn it off. I will do that because I don't want to gas myself out of my own garage. It's never a good thing. Anyway, turn it all off. So look, it comes with the uh, power 240 ins. Comes with your uh, DC 12 volt out as well. It's a little ground wire if you decided to um, actually fix mount the unit. Uh, for 2 kVA, I'm at the moment. I can. Uh, I've actually got a, um, a setup in my house. This is my little adapter for my property. Uh, so I can plug a generator to my property. Um, I've got a four-bedroom, two-bathroom house, uh, double garage. I can run all my lights and my fans and my refrigerator uh, off this 2 kVA generator. It's quite loud. I believe it goes for about four hours. I haven't really put it through the full test yet. Uh, I've only probably used it collectively about two or three hours at the moment just sort of testing it and running different things. Um, I've used it on my, uh, just my TV and my sound system alone and the lights for that uh, particular room, that worked fine as well. Um, anything more, just overloaded it. Uh, I also used it on my friend's caravan. He's got a uh, quite a large caravan. I've uh, got a fair few appliances in there, TV, air conditioning, uh, lights in and out, uh, all that kind of jazz. It ran all that, all, all that, absolutely everything in the caravan, no worries. Uh, it's, a, it's a late model caravan as well. Uh, on top of that, if you go on camping, that kind of thing, you know, you can run your, you can run your box aircon if you bring your box aircon for your tent if you really do that. Uh, uh, microwave, power tools, whatever, you know, it, it does actually run a fair bit of stuff. Uh, two kVA is a, is a good, uh, good amount, for, and the four hundred dollar machine, um, you know, that's it's it's well worth it. If you don't use a generator all that much, but you need a dinner generator from time to time, I reckon this is one for you. Uh, you know, otherwise you can go and spend thousands upon thousands of dollars for these generators, and uh, you know, you, you you won't use them that much. And I, I mean, it's up to you. You can buy this, uh, hung, you know, the, the 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 new brilliant Hondas that run very quietly but uh, you know how, how often will you use it if you use it like anything if you use it quite quite uh, frequently go buy the expensive one if you only use it time to time this is a very good little one to have um, I only use this I, I honestly probably won't use it uh, much I'll probably use it once every uh, two or three months uh, so I, I one of my camping gear is already 12 volt I've got solar panels and dual batteries so I don't particularly need it but I will bring it along anyway it's probably a bit of extra stuff to lug around plus I've got to lug around an extra uh, extra uh, tank because my, all my vehicles are diesel so I have to bring in an extra uh, unleaded tank there but um, look overall it's a good little unit good price point um, hope my little review uh, helped as well um, any questions just please ask uh, comment uh, all that kind of jazz and I'll uh, do my best to get back to you um, but um, hope, like I said I hope my review helped I couldn't really find many reviews out there on this particular uh, model 
uh, because um, either not many people reviewed it or not many people are buying it. Either way, hope that helped. Cheers.